And then we'll start with the talk. Wahi Guru Sahib Jiyo Pivo Pahula Khanditar Hoye Janama Sohila Guru Sangat Kini Khalsa Man Mukhi Dohila Vah Vah Gobind Singh Ape Guru Chela वाह वाह गोबिंद सिंह आपे गुर चेला डंडोत बंदना अनक बार सर्व कला समरथ डोलन ते रखो प्रभु नानक देख रहा थ मैं मूरख की केत कबात है कोट पराधी तरियारे गुर नानक जिन सुनिया पे खिया से फिरगद बास न परियारे गुरु नानक जिन सुनिया पे खिया से फिरगद बास न परियारे सो संगे जी वी ब्लेस टू जॉइन टुगेदर टुडे इन शिवागर स्क्वायर फॉर दिस वसाकी इवेंट एंड वी जस्ट गोइंग टू गो फॉर दैट इवेंट क्विकली ऑन ऑन दिस स्टेज में लॉट ग्रेट परफॉर्मेंसेस एंड लॉट ग्रेट ग्रेट टॉक्स आर गोइंग टू टेक प and it wasn't too long ago that our Guru Guru Gobind Singh Ji stood on the stage as well. About 300 years ago, the Sikh Guru, the 10th Guru of the Sikhs, is stood on the stage. And when they're standing on the stage, they asked the whole of the Sangat. So they asked thousands upon thousands of people. They said, Sangat Ji, they said, today I need someone's head. They asked for a head, and on that day, that's when the Khalsa became Padagat. Padagat means to be manifest. And when Guru Gobind Singh Ji asked for that head, he wasn't asking whether this person is from India, whether they're Punjabi, how much knowledge they have. All they were asking for was that head. And what they were going to give in return to the Khalsa, to those six that gave their head, they were going to give their own form. If you ask Guru Gobind in their own writings, they say, Khalsa, mero roop hai khas. That means that the Khalsa is my own form. That if you look today in Trafalgar Square, if you go into London, if you go anywhere in the world, if you look at someone like me, I look very different to everyone else. That I, look, I stand out. And this is what Guru Gobind Singh wanted. They wanted the Khalsa to stand out, that wherever you go in the world, you can see Guru Gobind Singh's Khalsa, and you can come up to them and ask them for help. Because what does Khalsa embody? The Khalsa embodies Taram. Taram means righteousness, that we always do the righteous acts. So Guru Gobind Singh gave us this root, which means this form deliberately, that we always stand out. And why did they give us this form? If we go a bit more back in time, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji, our 10th Guru, was only a child. At the age of nine, they were known as Gobind Rai. And what happens is their father is the Guru at the time, Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. And at that time, the Mughals that are in charge of India, that are ruling India, they're oppressing a lot of people, and they're converting a lot of people to their religion. And these these Hindus come to Guru Teg Bahadur Ji and they say, Maharaj, they say, can you help us? And what Guru Gobind Rai says to the father, he said, Father, you'll have to give your life in order to allow these people to keep their religion. So their father says to Gobind Rai, he said, Gobind Rai, if I go and give my life, that means you're going to become an orphan. You're going to have no father. And Gobind Rai, at the age of nine, says to their father, he said, Father, it's better that I give my life. That one person becomes an orphan, then millions of children of India, of Hindustan, become orphans. So Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, our ninth Guru, actually goes to Delhi and they're beheaded. They're martyred in Delhi. And after this, that head is now being brought back to Gobind Rai. So at the age of nine, our Guru sees the head of their father. And they see this head and they look at the face of their father. And they said, this Mughal Raj, they wanted to get rid of the face of my father. They wanted to remove the face of my father from this world. But one day I'll make such a khalsa, I'll make such a form of the khalsa that wherever the Mughal Raj look, all they will see is the face of my father. That if you look at every Sikh today that has the form of Guru Gobind Singh of the khalsa, you can see the face of our Guru. That's how great our Gurus, they gave the form to their own Sikhs. And that righteousness still carries on today. 
the Sikhs are still righteous today. That if you look in any Sikh temple, for the past 500 years, if you go to any Sikh, temp Sikh temple within England, throughout the whole world, we serve free food. 24-7, 365 days a year. You can go to a Sikh temple and you can get free food. Not just that, we have many different Sikh groups as well that give aid. They go to many countries like Philippines, Haiti, Syria, and they give aid. We have homeless feeds. We have alcohol and drug addiction. We have many people that go and help these kinds of people. So the Khalsa is still here today, here today doing righteous acts. So we're gonna have another talk later on, Sangaji, about 2.45. And we're going to actually go through what happened on the day of Asaki, the actual story that happened on that day. And also we have a stall at the back as well. So if you look behind you, there's an education um, tent at the back. So our stall there is Basics of Sikhi. So if you want to come and check us out and ask us more questions about what happened on the day of Asaki, then please do calm down. So thank you for the time and thank you to the organizers for giving us this time to talk a bit about Asaki. So I'll leave it here. Please forgive all the mistakes that I've made. Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.